I'm back! This has got to be the first time that I've actually done two videos in two consecutive weeks. Go me! I mean, I'm, albeit I'm doing it by the seat of my pants, but still, two in two weeks. I'm proud. And even prouder still, because today I'm sharing with you my overalls refashion. I finished it. I cannot tell you how happy I am. I'm happy with the result because it turned out a lot better than I planned. Um, now, before I start, I am sorry for the light at the moment. I, it's all artificial crap because it's pissing with rain outside. I mean, it's just the summer has just gone and gone, which is fantastic. Um, so yeah, do you want to have a look? This, my editing skills are getting a little bit better. <laughs> this is what it looked like to begin with. And as you can see, they're quite roomy. And they were also covered in paint and oil. They, they still are covered in paint and oil, but because I had to take so much off of it, there's less paint and oil. So, good. Um, anyway, I don't know why I'm looking there. There's nothing there. This better work, otherwise this is just completely pointless. But my point was, I've forgotten my point. So that was what I was working with. Um, and if you missed the backstory, I went to my dad's house and I found this pair of overalls in the bin. And if anybody knows me, they know that I don't like binning things that are useful and can be used again because it just goes to landfill and we, as we all know, or we all should know, that is bad, kids. <laughs> anyway, so there I was with two pairs of overalls and if I'm being brutally honest, no clue as to what to do with them. And that was, God, January, I think. We're in June now, so I've sat on them for some time because truth be told, I hadn't got a clue. I chopped, um, the legs off one and thought I would make myself a jacket and then realised that that was really dull. That's not a refashion, that's literally just cutting a piece of clothing in half. That's, that's lazy. So I thought, right, okay, I need to do something else with this. And eventually it came to me. I wanted to change the overalls into a pair of dungarees. And I knew the style I wanted was to have, um, sort of loop ties on, on the bib. So for a little while I was a bit stumped as to how to make it work and then one day I just went up there and decided to crack on with it properly after I'd done my last video which gave me a proper kick up the bum, FYI. And just I just got it done almost in one afternoon. It was brilliant. So I'm going to stop wittering on now. Um, here it is. Oh, look at that. I'm a natural, aren't I? You can see a bit of paint on the back of the jacket there that just won't come off. Anyway, two pairs of overalls made two items, the dungarees and that bear jacket that's just been thrown on the sofa, very cash can. Um, I was quite happy with the back, that's why I'm showing you that there. The front bib bit was the trickiest part, um, and getting the tie handles right, which you can't really see very well in the video, but trust me, they are there. And they're a bit tight because I had my jeans on underneath, but all in all, the fit is really comfy, and I think it was a good one. One thing I learned from that refashion is to take photos or videos or something of the actual process. I am not good at that. I took a couple at the beginning and then just flat out forgot. So I can't tell you how I did it. Well, I, I mean, I can tell you, but I can't show you, which is a bit um, crap, really. I'm sorry. Anyway. So that's the overalls refashion. And anyway, if you follow me on Instagram or whatever, you'll probably see um, a couple more pictures of that because it took me six months to make the damn thing. I'm not just gonna go, here, bye. It's, I'm gonna be shouting about this for a while. Yeah, two videos, two weeks, I don't go. There's nobody here to congratulate me. Congratulate me in the comments. Um, otherwise, have a brilliant day and thank you for watching to the end of the video. <laughs>